So today we're gonna to go over the basic functions of your 5110 pure sine wave 1000 watt inverter. The first thing we're gonna go over is on the front screen of your inverter here, you have three status indicators. First one is gonna be green, then you got yellow, then red. So the first one, I'm gonna plug in my shore power. When you're plugged into shore power, you're gonna have a green indicator, meaning you're passing through the voltage that you're plugged into at your campsite. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off my shower power. Now I'm going to turn my inverter on. Now we're going to get a yellow status LED. That is meaning you're taking your battery 12 volt power and you are inverting it to 120 volt AC to your appliances that is wired up to your inverter itself. Let's turn that off. Last but not least at the bottom there, we have a red LED that will illuminate once this is in an error state, which you will need to call what goes power pros to see what is actually going on with that error code. Next, if I turn the inverter into the on position and I come up to the screen, the first thing it's gonna be indicating is right now is 116 volts AC. That'd be it over here. There's a little button next to the screen. If I push one time, it's going to go tell you what your amperage is that is being drawn through the inverter. If I hit it one more time, you're going to see it's 12.6 VDC. So that's telling me what my battery voltage is. So we have volts AC output, volts DC input, and the amperage that is being drawn through your inverter from this little push button on the screen. So if I turn my inverter off, now we're going to show you how to utilize the remote that is with your 5110. So to properly use this remote, you need to have the inverter in off position. So button out, no screen, looks like it's not on. Now we can turn the inverter on and off by your remote. You got to have it in the off position because if you have it in the on position, I'm no longer able to use my remote to turn it on and off. So go ahead and turn your inverter off. Now we can use our remote.